Hi, I'm Darcy Gentleman from the American Chemical Society Chemistry Champions Contest. Are you an undergraduate, graduate, postdoc, or pre-tenure faculty at a U.S. academic institution? Do you want to win a free trip to San Francisco in August 2014? Well, a short YouTube video could be all that stands between you right now and this lovely trip. Well, why is it that we're doing this, you ask? Well, here at the American Chemical Society, we feel that one of the most vital skills to getting you from the lab bench into a vibrant career is communication. Consider William Perkin, 18-year-old chemist in Victorian England. He was tasked by his boss to make quinine to cure malaria out of coal tar. Why is it they thought they could do such a thing? Well, they knew at the time that molecules like this were lurking in coal tar, and quinine is a molecule like this. So in 1856, it made perfect sense. Just take a couple of these and add a little bit of water to make quinine. So that's what Perkin did. He took coal tar and added it to water. Now, like many well-meaning organic synthetic chemists, he found that instead of getting the nice white powder quinine, instead he had made gunk. But even though he was 18 years old, Perkin had been working as a chemist for three years. So he took this gunk and he tried distilling it and purifying it washing his product and things like ethanol, and suddenly found this vibrant purple color. He somehow figured out that it could dye things like silk, and suddenly he realized he had an incredibly lucrative discovery. Why is that? Well, at the time, the color purple as a fabric dye was only affordable by royalty. Here, Perkin had made the color purple from gunk. So what did he do? He quit. Went into business with his brothers and father, they went up to Scotland to try and convince dye makers to take this new purple color they were calling mauve and sell it instead of all that expensive stuff. Now it took a couple of years, but eventually Queen Victoria wore a mauve dyed dress to her daughter's wedding. This started a fashion craze. Suddenly people wanted all kinds of colors. And chemists went back in the coal tar and found indeed they could make a veritable rainbow. Factories sprung up. They started making far more product smokestacks spread across the country, and as chemists started to play with things like coal tar and oil, they found all kinds of interesting organic molecules. They found they could make aspirin, saccharin, plastic. In fact, they made the modern world. You heard that right. A fashion craze started the modern world. So how did Perkin do it? How did he go from bench chemist to entrepreneur? He was a great communicator. He convinced his family to go into business with him. He convinced banks to give him money for his factory. He convinced dye makers to go with his weird purple stuff made from icky black coal tar. You too can get great things from communicating. You could be a better collaborator. You could be a better teacher. You could get a job. And you too could start your own company. But the trick is to be so good at it that you can explain chemistry to people who aren't chemists. Think you can do it? Well, we want to put you in front of a live public audience in San Francisco. But first, we need you to send in a two to three minute YouTube video telling us about yourself, what your research is, and why you should win. And be careful, because videos longer than three minutes will be disqualified. We're going to choose the semifinalists on the basis of quality and the number of views to fly them to San Francisco to compete for the finals. So we'd strongly advise you to tweet the link to your video using hashtag ChemChamps. If you want to find out more about the rules and instructions, go to this link and tell us your story. We're looking forward to hearing it. Good luck.